This week on Leave It to Kaiser, Retribution Theater. Our story tonight, Link versus the Goat Boy. Who is it? Ah, uh, it's Officer O'Toole. Can you let me in for a second there, laddie? Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Kaiser. Did I interrupt you, son? Uh, not anymore. <laughs> Anywho, I was in the neighborhood and I wanted to introduce it to my son. His name's Link, and here's his little friend, Goat Boy. Hi, Goat Boy. <laughs> Hello, Kaiser. <laughs> So, I guess I'm leaving my little son in good hands with you. But, um, just be a little careful, because he's a little different than the rest. He kind of is attached to his goat, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but in the meantime, why don't you try out his new invention he just created? Video games. Hey, that sounds like fun. Can we do that? All right, boys. I'll see you in about a half hour. Bye, Dad. <laughs> you don't talk much, Link, do you? Uh-uh. Well, I, I like your uh, Robin Hood hat, but... I'll tell you, the ass crack isn't very uh, appealing. Why don't you show us your new invention, Link? Hey, Link, what are you doing to go, boy? Stop helping me! What's all the racket? I... What the hell is going on here, Kaiser? I don't know what's going on, Wally. What does it look like to you? I don't know, he's mounting him. I don't know. I think Mom and Dad would beat the sh out of us with a leather strap if they saw this. Boys! What are you doing? I'm sorry, Mom. I don't know what's going on. Officer O'Toole just dropped off his son Link and his pet goat boy. Make her stop! Yeah, Mom, and they're doing these weird things. What is he doing exactly? It looks like he's in love with his pet. I don't love him, man. Well, boys, have you learned a valuable lesson from this? Yeah, Mom. It's okay to love your pets, but it's not okay to love your pets. You goat f***. Man, stop! Man, man, sword, man! Ho, 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 ho! Well, I'm 50 minutes late, but uh, it's for a good cause. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, again, if you haven't heard, uh, this past Sunday, Joey Ramone, leader of one of the most influential uh, bands around, not even punk bands, just music groups around, uh, passed away at the age of 49. So uh, that was our little tribute. And uh, Kaiser, that was a great job. Ka Kaiser put put together a lot and of if, it. And if you missed any of it, you're, mm. you can hear it on your show, right? Yeah, I'm going to play it, and then Jay's going to play it. On the three-hour tour, Sunday morning, 9 to... Noon. 12 noon. I almost said midnight right there. I'm just that so used to it. I'm just so used to saying it. Ooh. Yeah, oh, that's <laughs> so good. No problem, dude. Anytime. But, um, yeah, we're here uh, till midnight. And 732-571-3493. Uh, and um, that's right. Actually, uh, we can talk about the... Uh, let's talk about it right now. Let's talk about the Surf and Skate Fest. How much it sucked. Really? I, 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 it sucked. I don't think it sucked. It did. It well, was very long. The way that, the, okay. Drawn out, but... Okay, I wrote out a, a, whole, a whole list, of course. Oh, my God. Okay. He did his homework Oh, my on God. This. I better All be right. prepared. First off, the no re-entry rule. What is up with that? What it's... if I have to go out and, like, drop something off? Why can't they have, like, those snap-on bracelets? You know you know, you know, the person's in uh, there. That might be too easy to sneak into. <sighs> Still, come okay. on. I, it's, it's a surf and skate, and they had, like, the BMX guys out there. What if I want to go see a band and go out I, and see... I want to know, because I know the surf, surf part of it was, was canceled because they couldn't get the insurance. Okay. I want to know the weather too, but that weather that was if, nice. Yeah. That if they did have the surf part, how would you be able to see that? Yeah, I know. Was it going to happen like nine in the morning or something? I don't know. Oh. Um, number of bands. There are too many bands. Too many bands, and the, and the set lists were like, and the sets were fifteen minutes long. I agree with that. There was there was Definitely. probably like like four too many bands. There was too many bands because it went on. I was there from three till what eleven? I think I got no eleven thirty. I was there though. Really? You were there yeah. that late? I didn't see. I didn't because Newfound Glory played. For a good hour. I didn't even stay with him. I left after Midtown. But um, too many bands. I mean, there were a lot of good bands there. Don't don't get me wrong. But unfortunately, like you, you put them fifteen minutes sets. Plus, you have two stages going on. What if I want to see one band? I think, I think they had a half hour though. I think. I, the, I think the bands on the second stage only had like fifteen uh, twenty second minutes. Second stage you're talking about? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't I don't know. Maybe they did. Which I the, I didn't understand because second stage is just like you should be able to yeah. have less bands there that are underappreciated. Yeah, I didn't so like that. Um, yeah, they have a good variety of bands, though. But um, 
this is this is the beef I have with the Warp Tour. There were no postings, and what what bands were playing where. You had to go up to the you had to fight your way through the crowd. Yeah. In order, in order to find out, the I only, had no clue who. The only spot they had the uh, times was at the uh, table in the front. Because when I came, I was on I was on a list. If you get to the table in the front, I was on a list, and that's where I saw like okay, I just kind of like ran it through my head real quick and was like okay, five thirty then, uh, you know, six o'clock there. Yeah, you know? I, but I still like. It's just I was looking around for a list. People are with, we're looking for a list. And it's like, well, who's playing when? You, you know, you had to fight your way through the crowd and maybe get to their, ta- you know, to the table. And oh, what time are you guys playing? And it was in this little card. It's like, just make things easy, you know. But I'm, I'm not that smart. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty overall, dumb. I, I didn't think it was bad. Like I just planted my ass up on the, uh, yeah, the bleachers. You just, you, you, you just and like, I just sat, I sat back and vegged. watched. Yeah, I vegged. I watched basically all the bands on the, uh, yeah. on the main stage, and I really, really enjoyed the movie life. A lot. They were really good. They were really good, and they impressed me a lot. Uh, who else? Midtown, I was actually Midtown. surprised by how good they were. Because remember, last time, actually, we saw them was... Um, Rutgers. At, the, at, the, at Rutgers. That's right, Rutgers. Because yeah. I saw them the Saint about a few months we before. We saw them at Rutgers a long... Before their CD came out. November 99. Something like that. Yeah, that was... That was really good. And Mid- um, you missed Element 101. Yeah. Great band. Like, I just was totally blown away. And... Great. And of course, Newfound Glory. They were they were pretty. I didn't, I didn't stay. They were pretty it. rock solid. They they got their act going. Those guys. So. Yeah. They got it going on. Actually, to tell you the truth, that they're going to be on that that Conan O'Brien show tonight. Really. That that is like the uh, the first step to stardom right there. <laughs> the first. Uh, the, they they missed the uh, first rung of the ladder of success, maybe. Because everybody goes on Conan before they make it big, pretty much. Yeah. Because I know like. Like, even The Living End, I think, was on Conan O'Brien. I saw that I bought tape, yeah. Flogging Molly was on Conan but he, O'Brien. But he loves him, though. He's like, these guys are great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, golly. They're Irish. They're great. <laughs> you can't beat them. But overall, I didn't... I mean, it was too long and too many bands. Somebody's but, been calling in for, like... Yeah. Just hold on. We're going to be done in a second. Yeah, we're venting. We're venting Funny. right now. No, I seriously... I mean... They should make it a, a indoor... They should have been outside. They should do an indoor slash outside. They should yeah. have the second stage outside. But you know what it is? But I think with if you have an indoors and outdoors thing, there's going to be a lot of people sneaking in, though. Yeah. That's the thing. See, that's the thing. If they would have had it outside and done it a la the Warp Tour, maybe that would have been better. But I don't know. I just, hmm. I, I wasn't too hmm. impressed with this thing. Yeah, but who, it, who were your favorite bands? You said Element 101. Element 101, Midtown. I think Element definitely. Because well, I've seen Midtown before, and they were they were super tight. But I think Element was my favorite yeah. band. Movie, li- movie Life impressed Movie Life was really good. And um, I, you know what? Actually, I really didn't see. I, Shades Apart, of course, are always good. Yeah, but the one stuff. thing that gets me about Shades Apart is how the lead singer... He, he, always, he always wears that, always that wears one suit. Always wears that one piece, like, <laughs> like it's astronaut mechan- gear. mechanic suit or something. Yeah. Like, he's got to be sweating his balls off up there, <laughs> he's you know? Like, <laughs> Look at my balls! <laughs> I'm like, is that guy nuts? He always wears it, whether it's blue, orange, whether black. It doesn't matter where you see him. We usually see him at Birch Hill. And under those lights, you're like, ugh. Oh, anyway. Anyway, yeah, that was, so that's my, that's my, and that's your take on the surf and skate. So, uh, and it's weird, like, I don't even know if I'm going to go to the Warp Tour this year. If this is the indicative of how it's going to be. I don't, yeah. know. I don't know. I heard that uh, the Warp Tour is under like new management. Like, uh, what's his name? Lyman? Kevin? Kevin, Kevin Lyman, yeah. yeah I th- we're, we're he bands, he yeah. has something to do with it, but I'm, I don't think he's, he's organizing it this year. So maybe, maybe, maybe it's a uh, whole different thing. Like, I heard that they're not having, they're having just three stages instead of the eight that was in that small yeah, it was like three. <laughs> it was like two main stages and 19 small stages for your local band. Because I, I know uh, from talking from the guys from Youth Ahead, they said that they're playing on like the side stage as where where like one man army played. Okay. Like that second stage, it's that the truck that's, stage. It's, it's kind of where they because play. they're playing on a stage with like the Ataris and uh, somebody else that you know, kind of up and coming. That's but. kind of close. To pl- that's kind of close to what they were playing with last year, though. Yeah. It's close to it, but yeah. But they should just they should do that. Throw in the locals in between like two decent bands. So they I just get, think because from what I heard, they added a lot of local bands beforehand. That's what somebody said. I don't know if it's true, but yeah. I know they added a lot. But they, they should. They should throw them in I mean, between good, yeah. two national also, acts. Also, this other band, Starting Line, was pretty good that I yes, saw. Yes, we'll play them, actually, because I have yeah. a few tracks from them. Uh, do we have any new stuff? Do you have any? Uh, <laughs> no, we have actually, right now, we're going to play uh, new stuff from Mark's band. It's, and it's on drive through. Analog Boy? Yeah. Analog Boy. And, and actually, right boy. after that, we're going to start with, we'll play local bands, I guess. Yes. And uh, this is Under Lock and Key, if you if weren't you have, aware. Yeah. If you weren't aware, we got uh, yeah, show, lots of good shows coming up, too. And don't forget, we are sponsored by Black, Black Hat Records. Records and Blood Sweat Nick. Blood Sweat Nick. And Molly Core is going to be on after us. <laughs> <laughs> so here's uh, RX Bandits, Analog Boy. Give us a call, 571-3493 on the X. They got their CD release party coming up. 
Yes, New Direction playing with uh, Shades Apart. It's, it's actually a dual, wow. dual CD release party there. Wow. With uh, Youth Ahead and somebody else. Who was the other one? I think one? it's Last Perfect Thing, right? Yes, yes. So that's coming up. Well, we'll, be an awesome we'll, show. we'll talk about that later. Good guys, good guys. Long awaited CD, too. Yep. That was Dismal. We also had Lifelong Pass with uh, Roger Klotz, Stole My Girl. That was going to From Monica. Monica. That's what she said. She said Monica to Ryan and uh, RX Bandits, Analog Boy, and Alkaline Trio. Goodbye forever. And uh, Brian from Howell called in and he agreed with me. At the surface yeah. skate. No, I, I agree on you know. Sucked ass. Oh, I don't know. I didn't. I was. I wasn't a big fan. It's too long. Too long. That's too about long it. of a day. It's and it was one of those things. It's that's like, like longer than the warp tour if you think about it. It was because the, the warp tour starts at twelve, ends at what six thirty, seven o'clock. Like when most of the band. I mean, there's yeah. usually a few more bands that play afterwards, but. But that was like, oh. It's forever. Anyway, uh, just to remind you, we're gonna give away uh, MXPX tickets. We're gonna give right. away two pairs tonight. So this is your last chance to go see MXPX at Irving Plaza. I think it's uh, May 15th, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, they're playing with Ultimate Fake Book and Good Charlotte. So Good. Listen up for your chance to win Probably your tickets to MXPX. 10.30 and 11 o'clock. Yeah, we're going to give away two this week, so this is your last chance. And uh, Brian, yeah, Brian from Hal called in, and uh, he wanted to hear Cooter. Cooter. Looking up. Actually, now they're known as Autopilot Pilot. Off. I don't know if that's going to... I don't yeah. know. I think uh, I don't know why they. No, I know why they. Cause because they're being sued. sued by this band in Mississippi or something. Yeah. Oh man, that's. Sucks. Oh man. Oh man. That's this crazy. Is, uh, Cooter, that's looking up. That's just crazy. Any request? We got uh, local bands for another 20 minutes or so. Then we're gonna get back to. We have a bunch of requests. We're gonna get, to get back to. into the music in a moment, folks. Get back into the national. Band. But uh, five seven one three four nine three. Three. Yeah, I almost said the wrong number. Is the number. And this is Cooter on the X. That sounds like a merry-go-round going Ooh. backwards at the speed of light. <laughs> Worthless there. With uh, Suburb Somewhere. Suburb Somewhere. Uh, OS 101, What Tomorrow Brings. And uh, what, well, what Next Week Brings is they're playing. But we'll mention that in a yeah, second. We'll um, LWL with Emone. Dodgeball with Payphone Apologies. Youth Ahead, Beautiful Day, Catch-22, Bloomfield Avenue, and... Cooter looking up, going out to Brian Speaking and Speaking of Catch-22, sad, sad, but uh, lead singer. I heard about this a while ago. Yeah, yeah. he's gone. Ugh. Lots of, so many bands are breaking you know, up. Yeah, that's that, really, it nah, must be that time of it year. It sucks for them because it's their second one. They got to go through their third. Yeah. It's got to be tough. But anyway. What can you do, huh? Show listings here. We have, ah, oh, this dude's. Let me go to another track. Ah, uh, yeah. I think uh, track number bum, 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 four bum. would probably be better. All right, let me try it. There we go. Ah. Wednesday, April 18th at the Roseland Ballroom in New York. It's the Misfits, along with Marky Ramon, Des Kadena, and Robo from Black Flag. Also, oh, no, I'm sorry. You have the wrong. Is Wednesday the 18th? No, that's... Yeah, that's today. Yeah, yeah, it's today. Bye. The 20th would be Friday, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so Friday the 20th sorry, sorry. at the Brighton Bar in West Long Branch. The Vibrators. No, that's actually... We- it's, no, wait. Is that Wednesday? Or is that tonight? It's Wednesday, but I, I, put, I put April 20th okay. instead of 18th. Sorry. So anyway, tonight, you can go to the Brighton in West Long Branch for the Vibrators. Let it burn and void control. Friday, April 20th at the St. in Asbury Park. Dodgeball along with Kid with Manhead and Flatus. Also, on Saturday, uh, April 21st at, at the Stone Pony in Asbury Park, Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, and more to be announced. <laughs> <laughs> Someone behind us is making up sea gestures. Ooh, yeah. April 25th, Wednesday, next Wednesday, at Brighton Bar in West Long Branch, OS 101, and more to be announced. Saturday, with April the new 28th. Drum, with, with the new uh, frontman. New frontman, that's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. Good thinking there, Ben. Hey. Saturday, April 28th at Hooligans in West Long Branch. Or is it Long Branch? Long Branch. Who knows? Melmac, Odd Man Out, The Survivors, The Insults, The, the Dissenters, Six Go Home, and Runaway Orange. That's a 12 noon start. Jim has to just... Okay. Sunday, April 29th Goodbye. at Montclair State Amphitheater in Montclair. Bouncing he, Souls, he, B-Side Theory, and Two you know, he, he hates it when we, like, interrupt ourselves and stuff, and we just should be concentrating on the on the job at hand. Like, when we say something like, yeah, Jim's here. He's like, no, you're bad radio. <laughs> what are you doing? Chris taught you better. Monday. I that. See? <laughs> I knew it. Monday, April 30th at the St. in Asbury Park. It's Dr. Frank at the Mr. T Experience, and more to be announced. That's do, you know, actually, do you know who's going to be there? Who's going to be there? It's actually a traveling caravan of West um, West Coast uh, acoustic guys. Really? Yeah, I don't I don't know the names offhand, but it's Dr. Frank is, of course, well, going to be headlighting that. So. Friday, May 4th at the Roseland Ballroom in New York. It's Blink-182, along with Alkaline Trio and more to be announced. Thinking that's sold out. Sold, sold out. out. Ouch. 
Saturday, May 5th at Club Chrome in Old Bridge. Dude, this <laughs> Why can't we find a track in the background is annoying me. Doesn't say anything about... Just wh- try. Uh, the lyrics are in there, so whichever ones that don't have lyrics. Go. Whichever anyway, ones I'll, I'll don't continue. have lyrics. May 5th, Club Chrome in Old Bridge. Thursday, Cedar Release Party, who are on Victory Records. Along with Stretch Armstrong, Most Precious Blood, and This Day Forward, it's a 1 p.m. start. Friday, May 11th at the M&M Hall in Old Bridge. MDC, which stands for Millions of Dead Cops. Millions of Dead Cops! Yeah, from, they're, if people know who MDC is, they're like the most, one of the biggest uh, legendary punk bands. They, were, they went from Texas to California. To, uh, actually, how do they do that? They, they, they just like they, move? They went in a car. They move? <laughs> they moved to a car. No, they actually, um, uh, whatchamacallit, Matt from uh, Rancid and Tim Armstrong were in that band a while okay. ago. So that's why they're, I guess, kind of famous. Oh, okay. And Drop Dead, Toxic Narcotic, and Leftover Crack, which is, uh, what's that? Derek's favorite band. Leftover Crack is a band from, uh, ah, ah, I forget the name already. What's the name of that band? Oh, man, it's going to kill me. They used to be called something else. Friday, May 11th at Club Chrome in Sayreville. Unitas show Chromags. It's a hot hot water music members. It's hot. X number five and Purpose. Friday, May 11th at Brick High School in Brick. New Direction, the Dissenters, and 37 Slurp. And uh, more to be announced. It's a 4.30 Sorry, start. Sorry. That's all right. Saturday, May 12th at the Birchell Nightclub in Old Bridge. MXPX, Good Charlotte, and Ultimate Fake We don't need no stinking music, bitch. Sunday, May 13th at the Eminem Hall in Old Bridge. Thursday, Penfold, Off Minor, and Days Refrain. And Revolution Summer, 2 p.m. start. And Saturday, May 19th at the Birchell in Old Bridge. H2O, CD release party with Midtown. And LWL. Get your tickets because they're gonna. That's gonna sell out. Yeah, they're pretty cheap. They're yeah. yeah we can't yeah. say the price, but um, they're, they're in between. Um, they're affordable, there, kitties. Nine dollars and eleven dollars, maybe. Sunday, May twentieth at the Birch Hill Night Club. We mentioned this earlier. Shades Apart and New Direction CD release bash. That's the bash from the beach. And opening it up for them will be Last Perfect Thing and the youth ahead and you can take All over right, All right I can, I can read the last uh, yeah I know one. I, told, I was go- going on a that's tank. okay now Friday May 25th at Wetlands in New York City Guttermouth Phoenix TX US Bombs and Deviates a 7 o'clock start uh, Friday May 25th at Club Chrome in Old Bridge Converge American Nightmare whom I've heard a lot of good stories about through uh, various uh, friends The Strider Hope Conspiracy in Fairweather it's 6pm start Friday, June 1st at the M&M Hall in Old Bridge. The uh, Worthless, Stick Figure Suicide, Bank Robbers, and 37 Slurp. 6 o'clock start. So, uh, Saturday, June 2nd at the South Brunswick VFW in South Brunswick, New Jersey. This was moved. Um, or this was originally at the Melody Bar. Those of you who don't know that. The Melody Bar closed down. It's R-I-P. still closed. R.I.P. Uh, Game Face, Air Type 11, X Number 5 in Garrison. Saturday, June 2nd at the Bowery Ballroom. Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. Wow. Mephiscopheles and the Toasters, yeah. Mm. And Friday, June 8th at the Birch Hill Nightclub in Old Bridge, Bouncing Souls CD release party, along with their friends Vision, The Explosion, and Worthless. And this last show, which is two of my favorite bands, are on this, are on this, uh, this particular bill. Wednesday, June 27th at Convention Hall in Asbury Park, it's Green Day, and it's Living End. One thing I have can't beat it about that is Convention Hall sound just sucks there. Yeah. It's like a big echo effect. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna give away MXPX tickets pretty soon. Yeah, pretty soon. But uh, we, we have some requests. requests. Yeah, we got some requests. Meryl called up. She wanted to hear. She said, um, because of us, she's gotten into a lot more um, punk stuff. Like she went to the uh, surf and skate. And she said that she went and every band she saw, she knew at least one song just because of our show. Oh, so isn't no. that great? Does you make? Doesn't that make you feel good? We're gonna play this song for her. We're going to play, uh, and this, this is not indicative of you, we're going to play the Lars Fredrickson song, Skunks. Skunks. <laughs> it's not indicative of you, Meryl, it's just, it's a good song, and we're going to play that. And uh, who else? Kristen's call up, she wanted to hear starting line, we'll play that. And uh, A whole lot more. Other st- oh, wait, one other, one other show, sorry, yeah, Mikey called up, and uh, this Saturday at M&M Hall, uh, it's, noon, it's a noon start, Zao, Fairweather, um, Last Perfect Thing, Only Normal, and Don't Look Down. So, if you're around that area and you want to check out a show, that might be the show to check out. It's, this, it's M&M Hall in Old Bridge. This Saturday at noon. So, and thanks, Mike. If you want to make any more requests, give us a call. 571-3493. You want to co- order a couple vegan burgers? Yes. We got them for you up here. <laughs> give me some beef. <laughs> Mess right there. Out by request. Going to Jeff. He Jeff. wanted to hear draw- he, he actually didn't know the band or he just said the f- uh, first few. Uh, we played Name That Tune with Yeah, that. we played Name That Tune. It was like from uh, the Bundys. Mm-hmm, him. 
go with him. Oh, yeah. I know that song. <laughs> okay, I'm not funny. Starting, <laughs> you should you should have been at you should have been um at our uh our class on Tuesday, because I, I had a funny joke because like ditched out on that. It was we had to do our presentations our final presentations for TV criticism and I was like yeah I went up and I was basically like yeah um my name because you had to say your name because not everybody knows everybody in the class so you have to say your name you know hey my name's Ben you know. B. So, so like people are just trying to be like stupid, and I was like B, E with the two dots over it, like Motley Crue or Lowenbrow, and it's like <laughs> I'm like, all right, I'm not funny. So, and then everybody starts cracking up. So, whatever, nobody cares. Uh, starting line with uh, leaving, good out to Kristen. Yeah, and, I kind of uh, skipped the first time, so we played it again. So we played again for you. Uh, Newfound Glory, old stuff by them. Scrape knees, going out to Katie. Movie life this time next year, and Lars Fredrickson, the bastard with skunks going out to Merrill. And uh, we're going to give away our last two <laughs> pairs. <laughs> this is a tough question. Two pairs of MXPX tickets with uh, Good Charlotte Ultimate Fake Book, May 15th at Irving Plaza. So it's in the city. It's not at the Birch Hill, just to let you know. And it also, I think that's Monday, right? Get those or train Tuesday? tickets. It's a weekday, the 15th. Get those train tickets ready, kitties. But anyway, we're going to give away two pairs, and you don't have to answer any stupid question. Just, you know, give us a call. We'll take the uh, first two. We'll take the first two callers. Not we already one. got one. <laughs> Five seven one three four nine three. Okay, those two who are calling up right now. And right now we have some suicidal tendencies with. So wait, Derek, there's three lines that are up. Which one should I? <laughs> yeah, ah, uh, just take the first two that called. Okay, there we go. Here's suicidal tendency with uh, institutionalized <clears throat> on under lock and key on the X. You want, you want pretty? Uh, oh, oh, black, black flag. flag. Ooh, wow. TV weird. party. And That's a uh, long song. Suicidal that. tendencies institutionalized. Love that song. Yeah. Um, we only gave away one pair of tickets, believe it or not. Yeah. So if anybody wants another pair of tickets. Hey, you want to go see uh, Britney Spears at the uh, <laughs> Bastion Square Garden? We give away tickets. Hot ass. Oh, speaking Shake of which. Of speaking, oh, there we go. Speaking of which, dude, one, one thing before we get to the. Um, yeah. Ho- call her, hold on. Call her, hold on. Didn't you go to. Uh, didn't you have to attend a. Uh, yeah. <laughs> tell us about for it. My, for my internship, Actually, I had to. T- tell us about it afterwards. Let me go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, right now we're going to play uh, Linus with. Uh, what was it? One more day. One more day of winter. Winter. And uh, we'll get to the calls and we'll be back after this. Hey, that's your bitch! That's your bitch! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Thank you're you. welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, well, we do have two winners. <clears throat> two lucky ladies won tonight. <sighs> yeah. Meryl and Daria. Yeah. So, uh... That's it. Thanks for calling yeah. in, and congratulations. Yeah. You're going to see Britney Spears at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> All right. Oh. Next, you're going to see MXPX with Good Charlotte and Ultimate Fate Book, May 15th, Irving Plaza. So oh, yeah. make sure you bring a little cash, a little cashish with you yeah. to get on that cashish. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. we got 45 minutes left, and Mullet Core is up. Yeah, Mullet Core. I wonder <laughs> if they're going to be up tonight on time. <laughs> Who knows? They never. <laughs> no, actually, last week, uh, yeah, Rob made up. Yeah, pretty. They, they always come up though. They're always here. They're hardcore. They're mullet core. Yeah, and um, actually, we don't. I don't want to say anything yet, but um, this possibly for our last show might we'll, be really special. Yeah, we'll Real, be somewhere. Yeah, we're not gonna say anything yet, nah, don't, but don't overdo it. We can't be. I just want to build up the hype a little bit, you know. It's a, little, a, little, a couple months away. Yeah, but still, you know, away. we're we're in the we're in negotiations with doing some stuff. We're in the final lap. Anyways, we're yeah, we want to let's talk about uh, Black Cat Records. Yes, our sponsor here That's at uh, right, Under Lock and Key. Black Cat Records. And they supplied us with uh, Britney Spears sticks. Nah, okay. <laughs> now, um, yeah, 67 Mama Street, and um, we have our, I think our, yeah, our stuff's up now. Oh, okay. Our, our yeah. list of the month, and uh, we'll have to renew it next Real soon. week or two. Yeah, the May. That's right. A lot of new stuff's coming out, too, so see some new stuff up there. You'll be seeing some brand new stuff. Ranch, banking new. But Meryl Derry, thanks for calling. You were going to see Britney Spears. <laughs> And uh, we've got some 41 with... Fascination uh, with uh, Britney Spears tonight, huh? Hey, what's, <laughs> what's wrong with that? <laughs> Nothing. Hey, what is wrong with that? Okay. All right. Well, the some 41 with uh, Summer, and that's going out to... I wish I had the sheet. I went, uh, I guess we're on CD2. Somebody called up. Oh, Seth. Seth, Seth wanted to hear that. And uh, I don't know. We have uh, new H2O, brand new stuff, not coming out till, uh about two weeks from now. And somebody already track. reviewed it in the station, because what we do is, like, when we get new CDs, people um, in the music department, they they review them and stuff, and, this, you know, they have a little saying, like, awesome CD, mix these guys with fill-in-the-blank punk band. Or, same or old have you. formula. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same old major league, major label formula. The kids eat this stuff up, folks. <laughs> I'm, seriously, folks, I can't lie about this. But, um, yeah, the H2O one, um, 
Funny thing, all tracks are clean. I think it's a radio edit. I think it probably too. Yeah, but it's gotta be. It's gotta be. I mean, they have to curse at least. You yeah. gotta say the f word. And what else? We have uh, new stuff from Zero Down coming up, and we're gonna play some Lifetime in there too. So, any requests? Give Last us a call. minute requests. Five seven one three four nine three. We got about forty minutes until we're off the air. Your vegan burgers are almost ready. And here is. Some <laughs> forty. Some forty one. I forgot. Here is. All right, Clash there with White Riot. I'm taking this thing off here. Oh. Can't. Actually, speaking of uh, Joe Strummer from The Clash. Yeah, new album's coming out new album. on Epitaph. New solo thing he's got going. He had, I think he has, what, one other or two other albums? Yeah, and the me- with the mes- was it Joe Mescalero. Strummer and the Mescaleros? Yeah. yeah. Replacements back there with I Bought a Headache. Lifetime, theme from a New Brunswick basement show. Zero Down, Bite the Hand of Feeds, and H2O, brand new stuff from them. Well Behaved, and uh, Sem 41 Summer going out to Seth. Seth! Seth! <sighs> Ugh. So, uh, yeah, we got this Rancid track, and as far as I know, it's unreleased. But I know somebody's going to hear it and be like, no, it's actually a, um, a B-side from this Danish uh, thing the day I, I, bu- I bought in Canada. So. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's unreleased, and it's only on vinyl, on, on red and blue vinyl. So, On the marble vinyl. On the marble vinyl, and uh, you can only... marble vinyl. And this guy gave it to me, I witnessed Dark Alley, and he gave it to me, so you can only find it there, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, there's a, <laughs> we're playing ran- that, that was, that joke went nowhere, and, uh, this Rancid track's called GGF. Give us a call, 571-3493. Boredom. Oh, boredom, boredom. The Buzzcocks with one of my favorite songs by them, Boredom Live, and, uh, we had Mouthwash with Fool's Gold, Anti-Flag, that's youth. Rancid, Double Shot of Rancid with Unwritten Rules, and uh, that song that's on that uh, very rare, unreleased Finnish, uh, Danish, uh, B-side, 7-inch, that you can get from Canada. <laughs> that's it. That one. No. No, it's not. GGF. And that's actually coming off of That Darn Punk, the original motion picture soundtrack. That's it. And we've got about 10 minutes left. We'll play a few more. And uh, if you want to hear anything in these last few moments, 732-571. 3493. And this one is coming off of the Atari's latest End is Forever. And the track is number nine, Song for a Mixtape on the X. Dynamite Boy there. New stuff from them. Catching on. Catching on. And uh, we also had uh, Green Day doing a cover of the Ramones Outsider. And uh, again, we did a good job, I think. You did a really good job, Kaiser. He did a really good job, and if you didn't hear it before, you can hear uh, the remote, the Joey Ramone tribute um, hour, I guess you want to call it, uh, on Kaiser's show, which is Sundays, 9 to noon. It's going to be really good. Thanks for the airtime again, guys. No problem, dude. And he's getting the call. Actually, uh, Ooh, we also yeah. had... You won Britney Spears tickets. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say it again. Uh, Buzzcocks back there with Boredom Live and uh, Atari's song for mixtape. And... Uh, just for no, for no whatever reason, we're just going to end this with uh, Run DMC. Because <laughs> I want to hear Run DMC. You and, uh, you guys got another five minutes, because, uh, Mullet Core's late! Alright, so all right, what should we this. talk about? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Mullet Core will be on next. On the next. <laughs> 